My name is Israel Adesanya. Israel Adesanya. He's one of the most dynamic strikers to ever compete in combat sports. Making opponents melt one by one. Adesanya started out as a dancer. So it would have been either fighting or dancing. I would have been great <laughs> at one of those, honestly. Being like, good at dancing probably helps you fight. Facts. Before eventually trying kickboxing. It was safe to say he was a net. From fight number four in kickboxing, I remember just feeling like I could be really like the best at this. I didn't know how. I had because okay, look, I'm not athletic. I'm big and black. I can't play basketball. I'm Nigerian. Football's not my thing. I'm from New Zealand. I don't play rugby. You know, like I couldn't catch a ball for shit. They called me Butterfingers in high school. But somehow I was just like, I'm good at this fighting shit, and I just felt like Jackie Chan whenever I fought. So I was like, I can be the best at this. I Me, mean, Jackie Chan was a guy that really inspired me and I could really, really relate to. But guess who inspired him? Bruce Lee. He's inspired people who inspired us. So if you, hey, footwork, rhythm, timing, on beat, off beat, everything, they can't catch me. And the Chinese brought me over as a journeyman for wow. their guys to beat up on, because obviously they want to promote their guys, but then that didn't work too well for them. And I beat up all their guys and decided, all right, I was immersed in the culture, the people loved me over there. So they gave me a name, you know, for sure. Uh, Heilong, that means the black dragon. He is as high level as a striker can be. The fights kept coming, Adesanya destroying every opponent. I'm ahead of the game. I started the game at level two, I said, and they're still loading. The man was on a mission. I love watching the guys that are like at the tip of the, the ability. Like he's he's like in my opinion probably the very best in the sport. It's not over here and he goes on attack. He says I want to do it in style and he lands a couple of crackers that would have put most people. I, just, I think they can adapt. They they're stuck in their ways and I'm always adapting. The Chinese soon realized this wasn't the journey man they had hoped. This was something new. A different breed of fight. Nihal, uh, I am the Black Dragon. I was born in Nigeria. I grew up in New Zealand, but I have lived in China, so I've embraced the Chinese culture and feel it is destiny. Adis Hanya moved to China back in 2014 to pursue his dream of becoming a lifetime combatant. The culture was an instant fit for Adis Hanya. The land, the food, the people. I just love the atmosphere, I love it. My teacher, Sifu Ling Zhen Chuan, came from China and he has been teaching Chinese Kung Fu in New Zealand for almost 50 years. I've known Sifu Lin since I was a teenager. He's not only shown me Chinese Kung Fu, but he's shown me a lot about Chinese culture. Bruce Lee, um, the Shaolin monks in the Shaolin Temple have always inspired me coming up because I used to watch them on TV as a kid. Just the style is me, skinny little kid, with some Bruce Lee moves. I come in here, dust this guy up, and then it just looks sick as fuck. Back in New Zealand, Adesanya continued his training for a single elimination tournament, the King of the Ring. The King of the Ring is a prestigious kickboxing tournament. It was an eight-man tournament, completed in just one night. Last man standing wins. I won King of the Ring three times, twice at Cruiserweight, that was 86 kgs, and then Heavyweight, which was 100 kgs. I weighed in at like 92 kgs, fully closed, and with a box of Dunkin' Donuts. You get hit much, because that's the game. You want to hit the other guy, don't get hit. 
But somehow along the way, a lot of guys got twisted and decided I'm gonna brawl to like fall and stand and bang and all that stuff. And like, why? So sharp from A to senior. A little bit of showboating. Blue corner! Israel! The stand I'm more tame now, I'm more reserved, but when I get I hit this more called guard mode where I just feel like this, this guy can't touch me. It's like a, I kind of love the cheat code of the game. I just hit guard mode and it's like, yeah, I've got this guy that's bad. He, once again, was miles ahead of the competition. That was across the neck, bomb right on the jaw. It's a knockout, but camaraderie, this is a martial art. He's cool with me, me and him are cool, like I said, you know, it's, I don't, it's part of the game, but yeah, one more fight. You gonna win it? Oh, yeah, man, oh, of course. It was an early first round knockout to secure the championship. Yeah, like I said in the first fight, it went on too long. You don't get paid by the round, so you gotta get in there and get out quickly. Hey, what did I say? Told you so. Adesanya would compete the following two years in King of the Ring once at 86 kilograms and once at 100 kilograms. He won both times in dominant fashion. Sure do, like. Striking fight, they're not, they're, they're not comparable. After compiling a jaw-dropping 75 to 5 record while competing in kickboxing, Adesanya decided it was time for his true calling, mixed martial arts. My striking style was never really suited for the generic kickboxing style, so I always knew my style would be better suited for MMA. Uh, name's Israel, uh, Adesanya, and um, I am from City MMA. That's my professional MMA debut. International class kickboxer, but it's a different world in the shark tank of MMA. As it goes to ground. It can be deep, deep water for a stand-up fighter. He's very much a... He jumped right in with an MMA veteran. You know, Griffiths is a stand-up fighter, but he needs to take it to the ground. Oh, wow. no. What was that? That was a jumping knee, and now it's oh. Adesanya, he's on the top of the king of the It could be all over, Terry Hill coming in closely. And, oh, oh big and knee. The money. And it's called Adesanya, MMA debut, knockout, two minutes into the first round. Oh, and what an entertainer from the kickboxer. Um, I just went for a flying knee, I think, and I caught him, and I saw his eyes kind of wobble, so I just thought, you know, a la uh, Jose Aldo, just finish it. So I just went for it, yeah. His second fight showed more of the same, dominance. You are an elite striker. On the feet, you are a step ahead of everybody. John's just looking for that, that takedown. He's just scrambling for legs. John's now on the back foot. Israel does more. It was a man amongst boys or as Adesanya would say, he's finished the game while they're still loading. Israel does a brilliant sweep. Looks for full man. This is not a good place for John to be in. Another stoppage victory. What a performance from Israel. Adesanya fought his third MMA bout back in China. Another stoppage victory. He was gaining momentum. Back in New Zealand, Adesanya continued his winning ways, punishing opponents. Big 
Good sprint. Bring side. Every movement was calculated. Question mark. Nothing is right random. Now. It is a zone going for the elbow. Sticky jam right hand. And there it is. Heavy, heavy. Up for the left hand now. Moves itself around. Neil's way. And we're underway in. Tripling up on the left kick from. Israel proved to be too much for his competition yet again. He was becoming something special. Adesanya's next opponent had a different approach in mind. About UFC as far as Adesanya's concerned, New Zealand versus China. I understand how big the MMA is growing. Up the, the wick a little bit here. Oh, that's a nice shot to the rim. Oh, and it had an effect. And here it goes. Adesanya on the ground. Oi! Oh, look out. <laughs> Beautiful body shot that started that. And he thinks he's on to... His opponent started voluntarily going to the ground. Oh, he goes voluntary to the ground again. Now we'll see what's going to happen. It looks like that's the guy. Yeah, he calls Terry. Which ended up Here being goes again. a pretty bad idea. Oh, well, he takes advantage of it. This time does Adesanya. And the ground, the pound, they're getting through this time. And Terry Hill pushes him away and says, that's it. Fight after fight, is he not in there? Measuring distance, so hard to hit. In and out of the pocket before you can blink. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. The perfect world for Adesanya's striking techniques would be smooth. He transitions from angle to angle extremely fast. All while still hitting or feigning shock. It's very hard for an opponent to settle down and become comfortable in the fight when Adesanya doesn't let you enter his range without getting immediately hit. His next four MMA fights would take place in China. All finishes. The fights kept coming, Adesanya destroying every opponent. The man was on a mission. Training-wise, just grappling, getting grappling. my yeah. It's the grappling aspect that I'm constantly getting better. Combat athletes are always in peak shape. It's no secret as to why. MMA competition requires the hardest work. The workouts are very intense. Adesanya stays in shape. Killers, you know? What? You can't. Like, one man can't put you through that. No one man can put you through that. Who's got the biggest cash tank? It's gotta be you! I've been through hell. I've been through fresh guys. You know, round after round, pound for pound. But, one man, I don't give a fuck who it is, one man can't put me through that, so... That's what gave me the confidence to go into that fifth round with God mode. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the AFC KLF, it is main event one. Adesanya would now face former UFC veteran Melvin Guilford for the AFC Middleweight Championship. Title on the line. Five, five minute rounds, do Round not believe. Oh, the head kick. Shoots. Oh, Melvin goes for the takedown of his he may have it. Have it. He's oh! Got it! Oh my goodness! He tried the to fake and choke attempt by Melvin Gillard. Could it be all over this early in the first round? And he unexpected, and that is exactly that. Oh, oh beautiful work by Israel. The soul bender does so well to reverse that. Oh, good fake. But that's the thing, it is 
round. He just keeps Melvin nervous, not knowing shoots. what's going to happen. He shoots, goes for the takedown. Oh, Israel was the takedown in the mount. Israel oh, here come the big punches. Trouble the Bucky's way. He's going to give his back up. He's giving up his back. Releases to try and superiorize his nose. Eyes look clear. Oh, good left hand by Israel. Oh, right, right hand, hand and the knee. Melvin to the clinch. Wait for the throw. Beautiful takedown. And oh, Melvin's turtled again. And the big knees. Melvin very three-headed. Oh, oh, he's got oh, no. oh, the body kick. Melvin's got to move. He's got to move here. Big crushing right. Israel is oh, the knee. knee. He goes big down. knee by Israel. Melvin, oh. hang on. Melvin should be able to make oh, it. It's over. over. It's all oh, over there. Oh, 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 it's And you, middleweight, interim champion! It's been around for a long time. I used to watch this guy back in UFC 60s, the UFC 70s and 80s, and I've seen him do a lot. So I just didn't have any emotion. I just thought he's another guy in my way, you know? I've got this belt now. Let's realize I'm a world champion, finally. It's been a long time coming, you know? But uh, within the next two or three years, we're gonna turn this A into a U, I promise. Watch me. Adesanya fought once more before entering the promotion. A devastating head kick knockout to secure his bid to the UFC. But I know for a fact I'm the best in the world. Said it before I even got in the UFC. Took our time again to the UFC. I hit Dana up in 2015, I slid in the DMs and I was like, we can do this, you know, but we took our time just to make sure we can jump in the deep end. If you can make that look easy, it just makes you look legendary. Do what got you to the dance, don't try and be out of character, so I'm making these guys act out of character. The rest is history. Less than two years into his UFC career, Israel Adesanya is what he knew and thought he was, the best middleweight on planet Earth. What's up guys? I just partnered up with Audible and they are offering a free trial for Audible Premium, plus two free audiobooks just for signing up for the free trial. You don't even have to sign up for premium to get your two free audiobooks. Any channel support is appreciated.